I'm gonna assemble the impeller into the pump casing. Before we assemble the pump, we need to clean up in the inside of the pump casing. Next stage is a mechanical seal. And we use the water for mechanical seal lubricant. Never touch the surface of the ceramics and carbon. And here's a tool we made for assemble mechanical seal. And it fit to ceramics part. And just a smash with hammer. You don't need to smash it like that. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Check the seal is assembled correctly. And then blow the wind again. And here is the carbon part of the mechanical seal. And we should blow. And we need oil for lubricant. For the first operation of the pump, it would be dry position. So this one is oil for machining. We used to oil for lubricant. We are just worrying about the friction between ceramic and carbon surface. Just push it. And push, push. And then there is a spacer. You can see the round part of the spacer and the flat one. You need to use this surface on the bottom. The flat one, not the round one. And the push again. And next stage is rear plate. And we use the clean surface on the upside. As you can see, inside the pump, there is a pin. And rear plate has a groove for the pin. We match this groove to pin. And there is a pin in the pump case on the bottom. And next one is cam. We use the loctite of the cam surface. This cam is really important part of the pump because if you don't have a cam inside the pump, no drain. Here's the board hole. And cam also has a board hole here. Place the cam accurately. And here's the cam board with a bronze washer. And then here's the Loctite for thread rocker assemble. With a hand first. Use the drill, tighten up. Not too much. If you assemble too much, the cam board hole would be broken. And the next one is impeller. And here's the number. I recommend you use this surface on the upside. You can use both of them. It's just up to you guys. And you can see the serration inside of the impeller and the shaft. We need to match each angle for assemble. We use the glycerin as a lubricant for assembling impeller easily. And we put it on the impeller like this, especially at the wings and place the impeller's spline to shaft the spline. Clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. And then you can see, you can see the spline in the impeller bush and the spline on the shaft. You should match the angle and then you can feel, oh, it's right. And then push it at once. That's it. Just you can use the rubber hammer like this, but not so much stronger and blow the bronze chips because the shaft is made with stainless and the impeller push is made with a bronze so there will be a chip after assembling impeller and then here's the rubber cap for impeller and here's the o-ring it will prevent the leakage if you don't assemble o-ring no pressure inside the pump, so the pump cannot operate if you don't assemble the oil. This one is really important. And then the next one is the pump cover. 
there is a hole, five holes of the cover, and we assemble like this. Just to find their holes like this. And here's the board. board. And then, board. With your hand first, always, when you tighten up the board. It has a five board on the end cover. It seems like uh, drawing the star like this. It's really important because if you tighten up one board strong, the balance is destroyed. When you assemble the board and the cover board especially, only 80% at the first time. And then 100%. Yeah, that's it.